All right, so the Kadabe Sheath and the Kadabe Synthesis are two of the best cases out there on the market for the 14 series. Now, a lot of you have been asking me on both of their case videos, all right? I did a dedicated review of each and every one of these cases. Well, not each and every one, just both of these. I did a dedicated video, so if you want to check those out, I'll be sure to link those down below. But a lot of you are asking me, yo, T, what are the differences in the sheath versus the synthesis? So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do this video right here, just kind of comparing the two. Now, no, this is not going to be a case battle because, you know, we do those i got those planned out in the future but this one is literally comparing the two cases because if you're trying to decide which one to buy then this video will be able to help you out at least i hope it does all right and sorry if my voice is a little bit gone i'm a little bit under weather man but i still want to try to get this video out for you guys so let's go ahead and take a look at it and let's go ahead and start off with the sheath all right now price point when it comes to both of these cases the sheath is going to be at 36 dollars all right always say the sheath is such an amazing price case for what you get man this case is almost perfection when we are talking about accessories in the case game all right so when it comes to the sheath you're going to get a textured type of material on the back you're going to get a textured material that literally goes all the way around the phone all right now we'll kind of bounce back and forth between the two cases y'all will kind of see where i'm going with it as we keep stepping through but you're going to get a textured you know you're going to get this material if you don't know about the sheath material you kind of have like a i'm not going to say sandpaper because that kind of turns people away and makes it feel like it's rough but it's not rough at all at least to me it's not and you get a nice little texture when you're talking about the case all right now when it comes to being flexible this is where the sheath has a little bit of flex to it now this does not affect the way the case fits on the phone the phone still fits amazingly well but this one does have a little bit more flex to it all right so sheath you got it at 36 bucks. You have it having a more of a textured material. Doesn't show a bunch of fingerprints. Doesn't show a bunch of scuffs. Like this material isn't going to show anything. And that's why I love about the sheath. And it has, you know, you're going to have a little bit of flex to it. All right. So that's what it is when it comes to the sheath. Now, let's go ahead and move over to the synthesis where this is a little bit different. All right. Now, when it comes to the synthesis case, you're going to be priced at 41 bucks. All right. So a few more dollars, a little bit more expensive than the sheath. This one is going to give you more of a rigid. All right. You see how I can kind of, I really am trying to flex this. But when it comes to the sheath, you're going to get a little bit more of a flex. But when it comes to the synthesis, this is going to be a bit more rigid. This is going to be more of a hard shell. Now, you're kind of going to get a little knock when you're talking about the sheath, too, just because of the plate and how they built the case. But this is going to be more of your hard type of plastic material, all right? Now, when it comes to how the case is made, when it comes to sides and everything like that, it's also going to be a little bit of a texture too. So if we bring both of them up, they both have like a texture to them. The sheath is just a little bit more pronounced where the synthesis is a little bit more, if I can say smooth, even though it, I feel like it doesn't have a smooth finish to where it's like slippery or anything like that. But both cases has a noticeable texture to them. The sheath, you can tell a little bit more when it comes to the texture now. And that's all the way around the case. But what I really love about the synthesis a little bit over the sheath is the grips that they provide here on the side, all right? So if you get close, there are these little stippled grips that's on the side, and that really helps when you are talking about holding the phone, all right? I think that just really feels good. It just makes it that much better because if you put this material all the way around, I can kind of understand, especially on the sides, that somebody could say it's a little bit slippery. But they actually combated that, man. They made it perfect by adding those grips on the side, and that I feel like is absolutely amazing, all right? So both inside, if you're looking, you're going to get those MagSafe magnets right there. You don't get any soft lining or anything in either one when you're taking a look at the buttons let's go ahead and take a look at the buttons you basically get the same buttons on both all right the buttons are going to be identical so as you can see you can see them there you're going to get the same exact cutouts nothing is going to be different when it comes to the cutouts when it comes to the power button and then when it comes to the top all of this is going to be just fine when you're taking a look at the lips when it comes to the camera protection both of these are going to be very faint lips all right not anything that's too thick or too out of the way but you do get a little you know a faint little fit when it comes to the the camera lip all right just a little bit of protection so let's go ahead and slap it on the actual sheath and now we'll talk about 
how the case fits on the phone, man, because both of these cases fit amazingly well, and you really can't, I don't know if you can really distinguish the difference if one fits better than the other, because they both feel really good. So when you're talking about the top, you know, you're going to get a little give when it comes to this sheath of course, because of the material that it's made out of, but it's very stiff fit, all right? It's a very stiff fit. You don't have to worry about it. I ran this sheet for a very long time, 4 to 13 Pro Max, and I never felt like it got loose over time, so you do not have to worry about it. When this case is popped on, you're gonna get a nice, confident pop every time that it comes to the corner. So you're gonna get a very nice fit with this, but just because it's a little bit more flexible, of course, your sides and everything is gonna flex a little bit more, all right? But it's nothing that you have to worry about. It is still a very, and look at my thumbs, this is still a very, very tight fit. So you don't have to worry about anything like that, all right? Now, let's go ahead and check MagSafe strength. And then after MagSafe, we'll do the same test over here with the synthesis. And like I stated before, man, the magnets on the sheath this year is very good. And it's such an improvement over last, I keep saying last year, but I guess this iPhone was last year. The sheath wasn't technically, well, I guess it might've been last year, but they have very strong magnets that picks up this base without any problems and if you know and if you're not familiar with this channel man this is a heavy heavy hunk of, of metal right here when we are talking about a mag safe mount and if it picks this up that means you have strong magnets sheath does that very very easy man one of the strongest magnets right now on a case in my opinion all right so let's move that over here right now but that's going to be the sheath all right you're going to get a still a very good fit you're going to get very strong magnets buttons everything absolutely perfect you don't have to worry about anything like that all right now let's go ahead and flip over to the synthesis. Once again, a little bit more of a rigid fit. You'll be able to tell when that pops in. You'll definitely be able to tell the difference in the fit of the sheath and the synthesis just because of materials that they're made out of. You heard this give it a more of a snap because it is more of a hard material. Now when you're coming to talking about the pulling and tugging of this, like I said, more rigid materials, which means you're gonna get less movement, all right? You are gonna get a little less movement when it comes to this, when it comes to these sides. And things are just not gonna move as much because of the material. It's not as flexible, it's not as bendy as the sheath. A Little bit more rigid, a little more put together. Buttons are gonna be fine, everything like that. When you're looking at the back of these cases, just like I stated before, man, the sheath is one that's not gonna get any marks. It's not gonna get anything like that when it comes to your case. The synthesis, now I have heard some people say this, but over you, I feel like with this being a hard black, a back, you'll be more prone to see a scratch or a, or a scuff, something like that of some sort on the back of this because of the hard plastic that it is. That's nothing not towards the synthesis, that's just what it is when it comes to cases. When you get a hard back, you're gonna be subject to have more scratches and things like that show up. With the sheath, you don't have to worry about it because of this texture material, it is not gonna show anything in my opinion, all right? But like I said, the synthesis is gonna excel when we are talking about the grip, I feel, and it's definitely gonna be a little bit lighter in my opinion when we are talking about the two cases. Cause I know a lot of people say the sheath is a little bit heavy and, and actually we'll go ahead and get into the weight here in a second. But let's go ahead and test out the magnets for the synthesis. Now this magnet in the synthesis is good, all right? It tries to pick up my base, but it doesn't have the sheath level of magnets in my opinion, all right? Like you can see it's trying to pick it up. She's trying, she needs to go back into the weight room just a little bit tries to pick it up, but it doesn't just pick it up as easy as the sheath does, all right? So the sheath, in my opinion, it's not really in my opinion. I mean, you guys can kind of see it. It's going to have stronger magnets, all right? So if you prioritize MagSafe strength, both are very good. The sheath is just going to be a little bit better, all right? Now, let me go ahead and grab my scale, and let me go ahead and give you the weight of both of these cases, all right? Because I know that matters to a lot of people. You want to see the weight of these cases, and I, I don't blame you, man. So go ahead and pop it on the scale. When it comes to the synthesis, that is going to be 44 grams, all right? So the synthesis is going to be sitting at 44 grams. Then you put the sheath on, it's going to be at 51 grams, all right? So just like I stated, the sheath is going to be a little bit more heavier than the synthesis, but I feel like they feel just fine. These aren't that many bulky cases. It's not that big of a deal when it comes to the weight, I feel like, of both of these, all right? And then taking a look at the lay of the table protection, I mean, both of these are going to have very faint lips, all right? Nothing too too thick, too recessed down in there, but if you want to see kind of the lips and what it has going on, you know, faint lip right there when it comes to the, the sheath. I'm pretty sure I may have mixed these up at some point throughout the video. And then popping the 
synthesis back on, you're kind of going to get the same type of lip, all right? So you don't really get more or less lip with either one of these. Both of these are, you know, about the same. Camera design, you see the camera design is a little bit different, all right? I know a lot of people kind of ask why does Kadabe do this with their camera design? There could be a reasoning. I don't know, it may be just a styling thing to kind of make it distinguish between both cases, but that's how the camera modules are going to look if you want to go with the sheet synthesis or if you want to go with the sheath. But other than that, I mean, two great cases. It's really hard to choose which one that I rather prefer. I feel like long term, using the case, if this is going to be your one case that's going to stay on your phone for a long period of time and you want it to probably stay in the most pristine condition, the case-wise, I feel like the sheath may do a little bit better because it doesn't really show smudges. It doesn't really show fingerprints or anything like that. Where this being a hard plastic, I feel like may eventually be able to see some scratches and marks on it if that bothers you, all right? So... I don't know. You really can go with either one. Honestly, it's really going to be about personal preference, whether you'd rather have a tighter fit, more of a harder, you know, plastic. I really love the fit of this. I love the grip of this. I love what they have going on. But the sheath, I feel like, really checks all the boxes. And them having that very strong MagSafe magnet really, really solidifies it. You know what I mean? But both are amazing options. I'll leave the link to both of these down below. You're going to get more color options with the sheath, though, all right? You will get more color options than the synthesis. That may change over time. We never know. So... I'll leave the link, like I said, down below so you can go check out the video um, on dedicated, you know, the dedicated review video of both of them <laughs> so you can see a little bit more detail about each case. The links also will be down below, so go check yourself. Go get yourself one and let me know in the comment section whether you team sheath, whether you team synthesis. Let me know and let's have some conversation in the comments. If you got any questions about the device, if it's something I didn't cover, write me in the comments as well. I'll definitely be down there replying. But y'all be safe. Make sure you hit that sub button and catch you on the next time. Later.